Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another podcast as we are going to be talking about my CCA life and what all that was about, I guess. I don't, I'm running out of ideas to talk about. I mean, I don't have crazy, crazy stories, but this one is going to be about the lock-in. Now, you guys uh, might be asking, like, since some people don't go to CCA, they'd be like, well, yo, bro, what's, what's, what, what, what is the lock-in? Well, the lock-in, my friends, the lock-in is a thing that my, that CCC collabor- collaborates with CCA, Central Christian Church, collaborates with Central Christian Academy, and uh, we do a lock-in, and by, uh, the lock-in, it's a, uh, technically, you just, you get locked in a church for a good, like, oh, that was a loud car, you get locked in a church for 24 hours, and you guys get to do a bunch of fun stuff, okay, and, um, when, when you get locked into the church, you, 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 you get to, like, you get food, you get, uh, you get, like, it's technically, like, you bring a backpack, a backpack to survive the night, and if you do, uh, survive the night, then you're good. Okay, anyways, but let's, let's move on to some stories, okay? So, the lock-in started, uh, normally for a lock-in, you know, you just, you go there, you get your, you get what you need, you, uh, find a room to put your sleeping bag in, and, um, and then you all meet up as your group, like, your friend group, technically, you don't, it's not required that you have a friend group, you just, you just meet up, okay, so, once you meet, once I met up with mine, it was, uh, me, uh, um, a friend, another, a friend, and another friend, I'm not gonna say their names, okay, but, um, uh, me and my first friend, we, we, uh, we decided to start, uh, stockpiling food, I'll, I'll be, I'll be honest, uh, we'll, we're, we're gonna stock, we're gonna stockpile food and we're gonna save it, because, uh, at night, when people start getting hungry and there's no more food, we can be like, hey, so if you come to room, um, and we're in, we're in Wichita, the room, the room name was Wichita, so, uh, if you come to room at Wichita, we can hook you up with that good fat stuff, the good fatness, right, so he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, cool, so then, um, uh, we got a lot of stuff, and then eventually, we came out with, okay, so one thing you guys need to know about is ISIS was really, really active around, like, this is when they, back when they're still beheading people, and, like, just, just causing a ruckus in Iran, all right, so, um, we, we, uh, we started stockpiling things in our room, we started hiding them in our bags, and, like, in, in, in the corners, and then we decided, hey, let's, uh, hey, let's get, a, like, a few people, like, in on this. Because, like, someone came up to us, they're like, hey, 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 listen, hey, listen, listen. So, we heard you, you, you've been stockpiling things, and, and we want in on the profit. Because, like, I'll be honest, we charged people for this, for these food. Like, we saw an opportunity to make money, we charged them, it was like, uh, a dollar a snack, a dollar fifty for an apple, a dollar, uh, two dollars for a banana, and, like, because bananas were so hard to come by, and, um, so we made profit off this crap, and people were like, we want in on the profit, I'm like, all right, okay, cool, uh, we'll, 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 we'll let you in on the profit, um, if you are loyal to whatever we say and whatever we do. And they're like, yeah, yeah, man, of course, of course. We weren't expecting anything else. So we're like, oh, this is actually kind of cool, guys. Like, we're getting a fan base and stuff. Wait, so, so then we started. We're like, hey, so um, you guys all brought masks, right? They're like, yeah, we brought masks for when we go into the sanctuary to play like capture the flag and that kind of stuff. And, and I'm like, good, 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 okay, okay, that's cool. So I'm like, go get your masks. They're like, why? Well, just go get your masks. Don't freaking ask questions, okay? Get your freaking mask. Like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then they went and got their masks. And I'm like, dude, pull out your Bible now. He's like, what? Just pull out your Bible and trust me. And I gave him a wink. He's like, oh. And I'm like, yeah. So then they come back with their masks. I'm like, now put your masks on. Me and him had like a gas mask 
me and my friend, the two leaders, we had like a gas mask. So we put that on and then we sounded like Darth Vader and freaking, um, and we just looked scary. And then they're like, okay, cool. And I'm like, now put your right hand on this Bible. And then they're like, okay, we swore them in to the group that we called NISIS. N I S I S NISIS. All right. Uh, it's, 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 it, we were our own terrorist, quote unquote, terrorist group. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, that was messed up. <laughs> the more I think about it, the more messed up it really was. But we called ourselves NISIS and, and we would go around, we'd go around the youth group and we took, we would demand them to hand over their food or else face the wrath of NISIS. And people actually hand over their food. They're like, oh, whatever, I'm not eating it. Fine. And then uh, we had, like, fights in this room to determine who would be, like, uh, third in command. And so it was awesome. But then we started making profit off the food. Uh, and then they're like, hey, time to go play hockey. So we went and we played some hockey. Um, after that, we stockpiled more food. Like, we saw the opportunity during hockey to stockpile more food, which I thought was awesome. So I, so I told my friend who wasn't playing at the time because he, fa- he, he got – injured but he, he didn't get injured he was just, he's lying so we i'm like hey go stockpile more food he's like i got you bro that's why i, I got injured and gave me a wink and i'm like awesome bro so then he he left and he went and stockpiled we had like 20 different 20 snacks in there and like we had like four we had like four of five uh four or five groups i don't remember all the groups but we had fruits and like and us uh, and like crackers and stuff. So we had like five different kinds, right? So we had all that, which I thought was literally the goat. Um, and we just we just kept stockpiling food. And after hockey, they're like, all right, guys, time to go to the sanctuary. So then me and my friend changed into full black, right? We changed into our full black outfit, and we're like, all right, let's do this, bro. We changed into full black. And we, we, we went to the sanctuary with our, the rest of our friend group. Uh, uh, right now, the, friend, the rest of our friend group only knew about NISIS. They didn't know about anything else, right? So, um, they didn't know we stockpiled, we stockpiled our food. And, um, the, we all went there. We played capture the glow sticks, which we hid glow sticks throughout the sanctuary. Uh, the one with the most captured after 20 minutes is the winner. Uh, we played zombie. That was the funnest game ever because me and my friend were like a team and I got captured and I made this like really weird dying sound. And like he knew it was me because of that specific dying sound. And then uh, I chased him and somehow he survived until like the very end. Like I had him and then they're like game over uh, and then he survived barely, which was really fun. So then we left the sanctuary and my friend ran at 50 miles per hour practically to get back to the sanctuary, to back to the youth group, which I'm like, oh, that, that, it, wow, he ran fast. Holy crap. So, um, that's, that's the difference for, for another day. But anyways, um, we got back there and then now it's movie time. It's movie time. They brought out even more snacks. So we stopped out even more. Uh, they, um, they started watching movies. I think one of them was Guardians of the Galaxy. Another one was Jurassic World, um, and all, I already seen all these movies, so I didn't really care. So we went up to the room and we started doing our dealing, uh, quote unquote dealing. We got cash, and then we decided, hey, it's about time of that that time of night where we're about to start getting high, like not literally high. I mean, like we're gonna start getting loopy, and someone's got to help us out. All right, so. So then we did that. We just, we started helping. Like we did our own thing. They did their own thing. And it was fine. It was completely fine. Okay. So, uh, 3 a.m. We are high. Not literally again. Whenever I say high, I mean like we are long. It's, it's like we're on laughing gas. You know that point in the night where you're like, bro, if I don't go to sleep, I'm going to start saying some stuff that you don't want me to say. And I'm going to start laughing at weird crap that happens. Like, my friend calls it slap happy. Now, um, 3 a.m., we start watching stupid videos. Like, I mean, retarded videos. And we are laughing our butts to kingdom come. I don't know what was funny about any of this. It really wasn't funny. But we just, we could not stop laughing. And that was, like, the best part of all of this. We, like, we just could not stop laughing. So then I look at my friend. I'm like, bro, bro, bro. 
let's get the youth pastor in on this crap. And then he's like, no, you, what are you freaking retard? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. So then we brought one of the cool youth pastors up there and he freaking, he, he freaking started buying crap from us. <laughs> he's like, isn't this your, our snacks? I'm like, no, these are our snacks, bro. We bought, we brought him. He's like, oh, cool. All right. I'll buy something. It is so stupid. <laughs> it was, it was all fun. It was so much fun. And, um, in the morning, uh, long story short, we were all freaking hungover, like sleep to probe, hungover. Like, you know, I call it hungover. It's not literally hungover people. I get so much hate for calling it hangover, but I don't, but it feels like it. You just have a headache. You can't walk right. You're just tired. You just freaked up. And, and it was horrible, but it, all in around, it was a great experience. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I'd do it again whenever the heck I wanted. It was so much fun. I hope to do it again. And with that being said, that will be the end of this podcast, considering I've made it home. And I want to thank everyone for listening to this, because I know I'm really dumb and I'm uh, hard to listen to. But thank you so much for all the support. It means a heck of a lot. And um, I'll see you guys in the next cast, boys. Peace.